Today we're going to talk about um, tank sender units and matching them to the gauge that's in your car. Basically there's been two different types, the early ones being what they call the moving coil sender unit and gauge, which is like what I've got in my hand here. And then in about early to mid 60s they changed to bimetallic ones, which are much steadier, much more stable. The first thing you need to do when you're buying a new sender unit is find out whether you've got a moving coil or a bimetallic. Um, one of the clues is if your gauge flutters and moves very quickly, it's 99% sure a moving coil gauge. And then you must have a moving coil sender to match it. We do a couple of different ones, a top mounting and a side mounting. Don't worry if your arm is different because these unscrew and you could put on your arm or if your arm is no longer usable you can make one to match and just fit them on here so as it must match what you've originally got. If your car was made after the mid 60s um, you've probably got um, a bimetallic gauge. These start up slower much more stable and they actually run off 10 volts not 12. Um, you use one of these little voltage regulators or stabilizers which drop your battery voltage from 12 volts down to 10 so as it runs your gauges nice and smoothly and accurately. There are a couple of universal kits that are available to suit the modern bimetallic gauge. Again, a top mounting and a side mounting. They come with adjustable arms. So basically, you alter this arm, cut it, put it back together, put the float on to match what you've got. Um, two terminals, T and a W. W is your power feed and T is to the gauge. This is a bimetallic gauge which we also supply. Um, just for reference, we can only supply bimetallic gauges now. We can't do the moving coil ones. So if you're starting from scratch, you've got to go the bimetallic route. The other thing to check is whether you've got six mounting holes, which is your standard Smith's fitting, or whether you've actually got five, like this one. Less options if you've got the five. We do this where the float slides up and down. It's a top entry one. And again, you cut and adjust this to match your tank, really. Um, this will ha handle a nice vintage tank because it's nice and deep. All of these sender units are available to buy on our website along with a range of several other ones at www.holden.co.uk